Well, he better talk on it. But Jaden Chase, they have met the fans, they know what really I go on. Blessings Nation! Now welcome to the channel. Your man Jaden Chase. I another one that we're gonna bring on another reasoning on the topic of current affairs. So if you're new to the channel, just a pass through, but you know, find the reasoning insightful. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then put a like on the video. Now, let's get right into the reasoning. Now, Nation, after what some are considering a backhanded compliment by the Prime Minister himself, stating that the JCF's crime plan had failed, but they have managed with limited resources to arrest and disrupt criminal organizations. There is even a trial taking place now for one such organization. Now members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force along with retired senior superintendent have blasted the government and has blamed all police failures and legislation and lawmakers. One of Jamaica's most prominent police figures, Renita Adams, stated that there was no crime plan during his years of service in the force. He was quoted as saying, We never had a crime plan. What we had was a random situation whereby each division would organize their own little spot checks, roadblock, and other operational activities. Adam stated that he had called for a national crime plan, but says, his calls fell on deaf ears. As think about it, nation, a crime plan must consist of a coordinated effort between the Ministry of Justice and Security. Renito also blasted the zones of special operations. He was quoted as saying, in communities like Denham Town, in Western Kingston, where crime is still rampant. He says one of the questions he's putting forward and is a dominant question on the minds of citizens is how are these shooting incidents and these slayings happening in such close proximity to checkpoints? And he says, if this so-called crime plan is based around this type of policing, then it is already being set up for failure. He was also quoted as saying, in majority of the instances where crime and violence is taking place in communities where there are zones of special operations, he said, a man takes somebody's life and just walk away not even run and he says these situations are detailed and have happened on numerous occasions in western kingston he said however nation adams did not stop at just blasting the government he stated that criminals have studied the tactical approach of the jcf and has tailored their criminal activities around the procedures being implemented and he says these things he did not learn while on the job he said i studied these things at police college and the police training school i don't know if schools are not teaching people these things he said the most effective weapon in a policeman's arsenal is local knowledge of his area and his common sense no nation the people are firm in their stats a situation that is taking place for quite some time now is of course crime and violence the old methods and techniques of dealing with that has failed the nation miserably the people are firm they do not want law enforcement just driving through the communities taking up innocent individuals off the streets this is not a military campaign what is taking place is that there are certain situations that are now breeding crime and violence, lack of education, lack of opportunities, crime, poverty. All of these things fuel crime and violence. Some people have even pointed out the fact that we have no police force as the police commissioner used to be a soldier. So we effectively have military policing and that is not what is needed in the country. Adam said, knowledge of the area and of course an officer's common sense these are basic components of community policing know your area know that this woman here so we have this cook shop is not a criminal but is a part of the private sector and should be treated with respect if they are saying that criminals have the community under siege why is it that the security forces now enter and put that same community under a different siege People don't need that. 
the people do not need that the last time them tried to have a garden this tipoli garden for those who are not familiar with the oc of the community it has resulted in legislations being passed that almost permits the free movement of one community and the lockdown of another communities that are basically facing each other and are now at odds members of these communities are at odds with other members of the other community and because of the atrocities that were committed previously soldiers are not permitted to enter that other community while they are encamped around the other and still the crime and violence takes place that i want to know what the people them need the people need investigators people are gonna find the culprits gather the evidence against them the prime minister stated that criminal organizations were brought before the court i will point out this those criminals were only convicted because informants from among those same organizations chose to give state evidence against other members and this is how members of the organizations were prosecuted and also convicted these actions only come about through policing proper policing they also said that limited resources are at the disposal of the officers it is true we have limited resources for even the healthcare sector it is a third world country or what they would consider part of the developing world of course investments must be made towards getting the equipment that the officers need but twickenham park police academy they need to focus more on training even our regular officers to think more like detectives and don't feel like they are just an extension of the jdf the jdf is the jdf the jamaica police force the constabulary force rather should be doing policing not putting communities under siege like the same criminal elements that we speak of because in that sense how will law-abiding citizens residents of these communities react the siege that they were under by criminals is almost somewhat similar to that of the jcf was not restricted their movements a kicking them door this can be the solution that people ask for and they know this we are long past the point of blaming crime and violence for nobody in a situation all we have to do is look at the aspects that continue to fuel its growth and we continue to breed it that is the only thing we have to look upon it passed saying that oh in the 80s them did shipping yeah we're past that point there we are past we are past that point now now we are talking about solutions what we're going to do about the issues at hand is that about who did start it who first did bring in what no where we are go from here and solutions are few remember adams just responded to the statements asked by local tabloids he was saying that he had proposed a crime plan even from when he was a part of the police force and what was proposed was not considered as really a crime plan because jamaica's criminal situation is, is unique there are organizations and you know there are domestic versions of crime some done for no profit there's also a certain mindset among certain individuals of the island these are the aspects we have to work on you to go to school right now and based on all of them here a talk around them all of the statistics are showing it is almost like you're going to school studying whatever subjects you are studying and uncertain if you will be employed in this area simultaneously these students are going to school seeing that the individuals who seem to be living the life of affluence driving exp expensive cars and you know partying and things of this nature are not the individuals doing quote-unquote the nine to five but they are rather either entrepreneurs or people engaged in other type of activities that affects the psyche the mindset of our young people we are followed up we still have a focus on opportunities we still have a focus on a, a years no minute here about nobody at top on a community center for the youth them and right now with face-to-face -face classes at what it is a community center 
When the youth them graduated, go to access these computers and internet and things of that nature. Even if in a classwork, them could have continued them studies and continued to enlighten their mind. But nobody had talked about that. You know? Crime and violence continues to grow on the island because our youth, the next generation, were followed up, are not nurtured are not given the necessary tools and opportunities to grow and flourish and turn aside or turn away or shun criminal activity. Talk to me in the comment section. You know the settings good. And for those who don't, you may not move settings fam. And my sentiments for you and there is that I'm going to live, love and prosper. Now stay tuned until the reason again.